Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. The crazy just because I am sometimes. Like for now, how I start videos and put on chapstick as if I didn't know my lips were dry. <laughs> and sometimes I just say things out of order. I babble, I ramble, I say something and then I forget what I was saying. Um, and then other times I just make no sense. And the troll, because I consider myself a troll. A cute troll, but a troll nonetheless. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Um, if you've been here before, if not, my name is Dion, and it, it is a pen name that I use for my writing that I carried over into the kink community and all of that other stuff. This video is about skincare. Um, yeah, this is my bare face. I did a facial steamer, put on my serums, moisturizers, all of that stuff. So this is my bare face, and this is what it looks like. And just so you guys know that I know my issues. <laughs> I do have bags. This side I have a double bag and I do believe it's a little smaller now and I've been experimenting with different skincare products. I do feel like my skin has evened out a little bit. Um, this was, I shaved my mustache. <laughs> And I was a little too aggressive and so I ended up with like two little hair bumps here and I am a picker I was not nice to him so that's what these two marks are um, and also up here um, I had a pimple I'm not nice to my skin I'm not um, and over here I had a pimple and you know something or other over here yeah um, redness still around my nose I do have eczema periodically well you have it always it just flares sometimes the redness on my chin has cleared a little bit it was a little red earlier after the steam and after the a, a facial pill that I did but then it went down some so that was really good that it didn't stay red that long um, I have this red mark here I have no idea why <laughs> or where that came from um, and what else I do have some discoloration under my eyes I do feel like it's a little better since I've been experimenting with different skincare items and my discoloration does go like over to here as you can see and so yeah and this was i don't know what this was but i wasn't nice to that either so yeah so those are my issues and also this partial two-thirds double chin thing <laughs> so i do believe those are all of my issues if i'm forgetting any let me know <laughs> I am good about it, owning my own junk. So what I did was I purchased um, the Peter Thomas Roth. He had a set. The set was um, a full-size facial moisturizer, potency, bright and plump moisturizer. I like that he puts the percentages of what the active ingredients are in his products. And this is 10% vitamin C, which says THD abscorbate. I'm probably saying it wrong. 3% vitamin E and 2% ferulic acid. So this was in here. This on its own is $68. Okay, this kit was $75. And it came with a sample size of the vitamin C serum, which has 20% vitamin C, 3% vitamin E, which is an antioxidant, and 2% ferulic acid. So it was a really small one of these in there, which I liked. And as you see, I purchased the full one. And it came um, with... Um, a travel size eye cream. The eye cream was so strong for me, it actually burned like under my eyes. Not physically, but just the feeling. Um, so it wasn't like a red burn or a rash or anything, but my eyes were so irritated and itchy. And so I discontinued using that. One of the complaints when you read the reviews on this vitamin C stuff he has is the smell, um, particularly this cream. It, and I was hesitant to try it. Reviews were like, it smells like bacon. It smells like hot dog water. It smells like lunch meat. And it, it does have a, a, an odor to it. The odor is the turmeric or turmeric, however you pronounce it. And that is one of the ingredients in this product. So what you're smelling is the turmeric or turmeric spice that's in this product. And turmeric or turmeric is known for brightening properties as well as good seasoning for foods. So that is the smell that, <laughs> that is in here. This for daytime, you can use it twice a day. This for daytime is too heavy for my skin. And I was sweating like profusely um, just on a 10 minute walk. And so when I use this, I have to use a really thin layer at nighttime. I was slathering it on like my Olay, 
my Olay, excuse me, my Olay night recovery cream, but slathering this on, it was not fully absorbing. And if I would talk on the phone, it would just, it, it, it just looked really gross. And so I found that the best way for me when I use this all over is a very, very thin layer. And then it does absorb and my skin does feel smooth. So if you can get past the odor and remembering that less is more, this is great. Because I've been trying other skincare products, what I've been doing with this one is using it for a spot treatment because I noticed that this did help lighten up the marks that I have. Like this is maybe two weeks old, three weeks old, and this is like a week old. So if I have, if I had not been putting this on as a spot treatment, this would still be this color. And these are, I think, maybe like two weeks old. And so it does lighten up. It does take time though. And so I did already put some on, but I'm going to show you what I do. I take just my ring finger. I take like that much and I just put a dot there, a dot there, and a dot there. And that's what I do. Other than, then I blend it in. <laughs> and so that's how I've been using this and it's going to last forever. And I think... Oh, it says it, um, it has an 18-month um, product life after you open it. But this is huge. It's 1.7 ounces, which I don't like the packaging because only this container within this container has the product. So all of this out here, that's just for show. And I know people like, you know, when you're paying a lot of money for something, they're like, oh, it just feels luxurious. The packaging is so awesome. I'd rather this be $15 cheaper and just be the jar, the inner jar with a lid than all of this and it would fit easier in my caboodle with my other products. And so that actually just sits on my bathroom counter because it's too big to fit with where my other stuff is. I did like the Potency Power Serum. This you can use twice a day. This expires also in 18 months from when you open it. And I do put labels on my products of when it expires. I heard someone say do a spreadsheet, but who's gonna keep looking at a spreadsheet, especially when you have a lot of skincare products that are open. And so this, I am able, my, my skin is able to tolerate it um, twice a day. When I initially purchased it, um, I, this flared up on my chin, my forehead flared, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm having a reaction to this. And so I was reading that sometimes incorporating vitamin C into your skincare, your skin can purge. And so there are a few workarounds. Workarounds are what I call ways to use a product and have it not irritate your skin as much. Um, one way was to just use it once a day instead of twice a day. What I tried that worked for me was instead of putting the serum on bare skin, because you do your serums before moisturizers, they say thin to thicker products, and then some people say it doesn't matter, but I do the thin to thick. And so the, since this is a serum, this is closer to my skin than if I put it over a moisturizer. So what I started doing was I did start using it once a day over top of my moisturizer versus underneath of my moisturizer. And I did that every other night and then I started doing it every night. And then within a week I was using it um, once a day underneath my moisturizer for a few days, maybe like three or four days. And so within two weeks, I was able to use this underneath my moisturizer twice a day without any problem. And so that may be something that will work for you. Yes, my nose is shiny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that's how I was able to incorporate the vitamin C into my skincare routine. Um, as I said, this was um, very small that was in here. And so I liked it so much that I purchased a full size. Okay. This is $98. Yeah, and so, <laughs> and so you can purchase this on its own for $98 on a Sephora website, or you can purchase a set with this for $98 and a travel size of the moisturizer, or for $98, you can get this <laughs> and a cleanser, the sample of the cleanser. Well, not a sample, this is two fluid ounces of their cleanser. And you get a 0.5 fluid ounce of his firm and peeling gel, which is an exfoliant. And you receive a 0.25 ounce of his water drenched hyaluronic cloud cream hydrating moisturizer. So for the cost of just this, you can get this and a travel size this, or you can get this 
and these three other products. And so being that I'm on this journey to perfect my skincare routine, this is the set that I got. And the moisturizer is not moisturizing for me. This may be good for me in the summertime because I sweat a lot, but I don't use a separate SPF. The moisturizer I use is the Olay Whipped Regenerous Moisturizer, which has SPF 25 in it. And so I would not use this unless I did have a separate SPF because this was not hydrating for me right now, which my skin is drier because it's, I still say it's winter because the temperature keeps dropping even though it's April 16th. But this was not moisturizing for me. I have not tried the pill because I've been experimenting with other masks and things, which I will get into, and I'm not sure that I will try this. I think I'll just give it away. I was excited to try the anti-aging cleansing gel, even though it does say it's for all skin types, but then as you read reviews, it says it's not for sensitive skin. And this stripped the heck out of my skin. <laughs> I used it one time. And I was just like, ooh, my skin was like just, and even after putting all of my other skincare products on, my face was itchy and I'm like, well, maybe it was the mask that I used or maybe it was this or maybe it was the combination. And so I'm not sure what to do with this. I think this will be great for if I'm out hiking all day or if I've been, you know, not cleansing as intensely as I usually do after I wear makeup, this will be something to like completely strip my entire face. I didn't have any redness per se, but it was just really tight and just itchy and just like, what is this? And I wanted to wash my face off and I think I ended up just applying an additional moisturizer and then the itchiness for the most part went away, but yeah, that's a, that's a little harsh for me. And so <laughs> I also experimented with, um, his masks he has a mask set and this is what it looks like and it's it was $75 you receive five different masks and you also receive a tiny um, water drench which I didn't open because that's what this is and this was not moisturizing enough for me but I wanted to try his different masks and so I do have notes here which I need to take all of this other skincare stuff off of <laughs> and I used one a day and, and it was really nice and um these are all 1.7 ounces and the full size ones are 5 ounces and, and for one of them the full size is 5.1 ounces and the price ranges between like 58 and I think $85 depending on which one it is. And so this, so for $75, I thought this was great to be able to try four different masks and the moisturizer. I did not use the rose stem. This one is Bio Repair Gel Mask. I can smell the rose right now and I'm sensitive to fragrance. And so I'm like, I, there's no way I am putting that on my face. If I'm around flowers, sneezing, you know, my, my eyes start tearing it's just not good my skin starts itching so that one i'm just going to straight give away and not even try the first one i tried was the 24 karat gold <laughs> mask and i think this is the one that's 85 dollars for full size pure luxury lift and firm mask one thing i like about this kit besides being able to try five different masks is that each one targets a different concern or a different issue that you may have and so i was excited to, to try this one it says uh, pure 24K gold and colloidal gold help lift and firm, imparts an opulent glow, re-energizes the look of skin, caffeine helps tighten the appearance of skin, revitalizes, lifts, firms, brightens, smooths, and refreshes. So this one, it says put a generous layer. Um, generous was too much, because I put too much. And <laughs> I scooped them with a spoon so I didn't want to put my fingers in it because I didn't know if I was going to like it or not. And if I didn't like it, I wanted to be able to give it away. And I'm trying to get the lid off so you can see. I used it once and like barely used any product. And the shelf life, once you open it, for most of these are 24 months. The rose is 18 months, the rest of them are 24 months. And some of the reviews, people are saying they just buy a new set 
every year because as you rotate them out, you rotate through the different masks, they last people, you know, an entire year. So this one, my notes says, my face did look brighter overall. It felt a little tight, but firm and very smooth. And I put a note to myself next time use a thin layer. So when I took this off, it was just like, it was just really soft and really smooth and it felt good. It felt luxurious. I, yeah, so I did order a full size of a few of these off of QVC because the other day they had a 25% off sale. And it wasn't listed as a sale, but just their price was 25% cheaper than full size on Sephora. The next night I used the pumpkin. This one I was concerned about because reviews were saying it irritated their skin, it broke their skin out, it was very harsh, yada, yada, yada. And so I wasn't sure about this one. And this one is an enzyme dermal resurfacer. Yeah, so it has little scrubbies in it. <laughs> it does. And I don't know if you can see on the lid, I'm trying not to be messy, but it is exfoliating. It, it is really exfoliating. And so I was being very gentle um, when I did rub it in. And you put it on, well, all of these, you wash your face first, and then you put it on. And it says, gently massage in a circular motion with wet fingertips. Leave on for three to seven minutes. And each, each one of these you can use two to three times a week. Um, Total time I had it on was six minutes. From the time I started applying it to massaging it in and rinsing it off was a total of six minutes. And it does smell like pumpkin pie, which some of the reviews said. So that was really nice. And surprisingly, it didn't irritate me. The smell was not really strong. Um, so my note says, had it on for six minutes total. Skin felt soft, smooth, zero irritation. Rinse well, because I did rinse. <laughs> And then as I was looking at my hairline, I, I had some here and I had some here, so I had to rinse again. So I put a note, rinse well, especially along my hairline and jawline. After a few minutes, because with each of these, after I rinsed, I would just wait. I would look in, well, I would rinse it, look in the mirror, look at my skin, and notice, you know, is this more red? Is this more red? Is this more red? You know, is, are my dry patches looking crazy or whatever? And then I will wait five minutes and go and look in the mirror again and touch and see and feel. And so I put after a few minutes, my face felt stripped of all dirt and oils, but in a good way without feeling tight. And so that I liked. I liked feeling the clean and the smooth without that tight feeling in my face. However, my face felt dry and dry patches were accentuated. So where was it? It was somewhere on my face. <laughs> And I had this right here. This definitely is a dry patch. I don't know what this is, some type of contact dermatitis, but this was more red. And I, I mean, not more red, but a dry patch and something over here was flaky. And also, <laughs> um, let me back up first. The redness dissipated within, and I put it on here, within about five minutes, so it didn't last. And I also noticed later on, because as I said, I used a spoon and scooped and I would put the product on the palm of my hand and then I would use my fingers and apply on my face that way. I noticed later when I looked at my hand where that mask was, this was flaky. <laughs> the skin right here was flaking. I was like, oh my. <laughs> but it didn't itch or anything, but I was, it was just interesting. And so if you don't fully rinse your face, you can get flaky skin. Um, the next night during the daytime, cause I use these at night cause my sleep schedule is wacky. I'm not turning on sometimes I also have insomnia. So it's just weird. So the next day, cause I wanted to use all of these before the Sephora sale because I'm like, okay, the ones I like I'll order during the Rogue sale. But then I ended up ordering some off of QVC for cheaper. So yeah. So the next day I used the cucumber gel mask. <laughs> this one says hydration. Wait, did I read? Did I read what the pumpkin does? I'm going to back up to the pumpkin. Three in one intense skin resurfacer treatment exfoliates with pumpkin enzyme, pills with alpha hydroxy acid, polishes with aluminum oxide, reveals smoother, younger looking radiant and revitalized skin. So that's what this is. And I really feel like it did what it said it does. And actually with all of these, 
almost i feel yeah i do i feel like they all did what they said they were going to do so back to the cucumber gel mask refresh extreme detox hydrator refreshing cooling moisturizing gel helps soothe helps soothe the lack of dry skin with extracts of cucumber papaya chamomile pineapple sugar maple sugar cane orange lemon bilberry i never even heard of bilberry and aloe so some people in the reviews were saying they put this one in the refrigerator because then it helps with the cooling effect and they say they also do that with the rose as i said i didn't use the rose because this scent is just too much for me even just smelling it through the jar um yeah so my notes on this one <laughs> felt cooling and soothing during application Skin felt smooth and soft afterward, but not more so than before using it. I didn't notice any difference in how my skin looked or felt. So if you're the type of person that you just want to use this in the morning because you just want to feel soothed or pamper yourself a few minutes before you do the rest of your skincare and, and put on your makeup or whatever it is that you do, then yeah, this would be great for this. But for me, when I rinsed it, looked at my skin, it looked like it did after I washed it. And I've been washing my face with the Garnier Skin Active Gentle Sulfate Free Foaming Face Wash. So it, it didn't make a difference. Yes, it felt good, but good enough to spend like 55 or $60 for full size when it didn't make a difference. So, but again, it did what it said it was gonna do. It was very soothing. Um, I did not have any adverse reaction to it, which is great. Anytime I don't have an adverse reaction to a skincare product, it's awesome. But I'm just like, eh, it didn't really make a difference. And so that night, which was yesterday, I tried his Irish Moor Mud Purifying Black Mask. Do not use this for a black face joke. Because that's what you will look like. Don't do it. Don't post it. I did send a picture to my partner. And I'm like, am I beautiful? He put, oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> do not do that. Well, on social media. You can send it to friends, but do not post on social media. Purifying, refining, decongesting, hydrating mask, nutrient and mineral-rich Irish Moor mud helps purify and refine the look of skin. Hajiki, seaweed, hydrates, volcanic ash, revitalizes, activated charcoal, draws out toxins and impurities, minimizes the look of pures, fine lines and wrinkles for all skin types. And this one, and for each of these, the color, is the color of the product <laughs> yeah so don't don't use this for blackface social media jokes so <laughs> my note is skin felt like it it had been deep cleansed my face felt soft and smooth also a little dry my skin felt a little dry but it did not look dry so this really did detox it really did purify i do really feel like it not so much hydrate because well, I can say maybe hydrate because even though it felt dry, it didn't look dry. Like with the pumpkin when I had the dry patches, it didn't do that. And so this one I liked. And so the ones that I ordered, <laughs> the ones that I ordered from QVC, which was 25% less than the Sephora prices. So even with the 20% off Rogue, it was still cheaper on QVC. So I ordered the gold. Oh, my skin was just so soft and it was like visibly brighter. So that was really cool. The Irish Moor mask and I ordered the pumpkin. So those are the three full size that I ordered. And I know these will last me a very long time because you only need a little bit, especially if you're rotating using different masks um, throughout the week. Um, I'm wondering if there's anything else that I wanted to say. Or you can just purchase this set um, every year. But some comments were saying sometimes the masks may be different or there was another mask last year and this year they put in the moisturizer instead and so my suggestion is yeah if you want to just keep trying different masks and you do like them continue to get this set because they will last you an entire year if you ro if you rotate through them throughout the week um or if you really just love it just get the full size because they do last 24 months the cucumber 18 months um, the rest of them expire in 24 months. So you have two years. I'm looking on the rose because I think I missed. Yeah, the rose is also 18 months. The rose and cucumber expire in 18 months once you open them. The other three, you got two years to use it. And so, you know, I say go for it. 
And so th this is all I'm going to say for this video and I will come back later with other skincare stuff that I'm using. And so thank you for watching guys and you'll see me in the next video. Bye! If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, click like and the notification bell and all that good stuff. Thanks. Bye!